Good evening friends, welcome back to my channel and I am Dr. Chintu Bora. Today I am going to talk about William Hazlitt. William Hazlitt was born in uh, 1778, he died in 1830. He was born in Ireland and he was grown up in England. And uh, he was a sulky or um, unfriendly type of uh, boy when he was uh, he was in his young age and uh, he was a intensive reader and he liked painting. He <clears throat> pursued his painting and he went to Paris for one year and he, uh, in England also he, uh, he uh, tried to portray uh, pictures and for three years but he was not a successful painter he started writing books he uh, he was interested in philosophy and uh, he <clears throat> wrote many books like uh, table talks um, um, essays collection and um, his uh, essays were published in the liberal and today i am going to uh, focus on two of his important essays. Uh, one is The Indian Jugglers. The Indian Jugglers, uh, it is published in the table talk. And here uh, the essayist, he, uh, he raises the Indian Jugglers for his um, skill, for his dexterity. Uh, but the uh, author's main intention was that he wants to tell that the painter has true natural talent and the, uh, the skillful Indian jugglers, they are skilled person, they are trained and their um, trait is uh, obtained by repetition training and it is uh, no doubt it is a talent but it is uh, not so natural talent like a painter to be a painter one must have natural uh, natural uh, talent and one cannot be a true painter by practicing like the indian jugglers so uh, in the same essay he talks about greatness, greatness has the great purpose and he even talked that the kings um, uh, were not great, he, uh, he, uh, he told that the uh, writers like Milton, Shakespeare, Bacon, Cromwell and they are a true great person. In the second essay my first acquaintance with poet uh, William Hazlitt, he met two eminent romantic poets. They were Esti Coleridge and William Wordsworth. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> he met them in uh, 1798. Uh, at the time, uh, Coleridge, he talked about the lyrical ballads and that this is their new experiment and he liked the two persons he even uh, before meeting um, Estee Coleridge he, uh, he had the opportunity to listen to his sermon and he uh, found that uh, Mr. Uh, Estee Coleridge was a talkative person and he liked philosophy and poetry and uh, William Wordsworth, he uh, he recited a poem, and uh, William Wordsworth he liked sunset and other natural beauty, and uh, uh, when he uh, when he had the experience to uh, listen to the recitation of Esti Coleridge, he found that his Coleridge's recitation is um, dramatical and. Mm. He uh, called this also like poetry and he talked about philosophy. 
and they also talked about the great persons like William Shakespeare and other great writers okay so um, this is all about uh, hasly that I'm going to tell today okay thank you if you like um, this type of video then please subscribe to my channel thank you